All right, everybody, welcome back to another good to know for Unreal and Unreal 5. In this one, we're actually going to be talking about uh, console variables or CVARs for short. So those are the handy dandy, you know, console variables that you can actually play around with. If you hit um, by default, it's uh, tilde and you can do like, you know, basic stuff like stat FPS, right? As everybody's seen, you can see my FPS there on the side, or you can do like some uh, fun other ones like slow mo, where you actually change the time dilation. I'll go 0 0.1. You can see when I actually jump, I'm in slow motion. You know, all this kind of stuff, right? So, all these things are actually pretty cool and pretty nifty to play around with. Um, but sometimes you might want to know some custom things for yourself. Like, for instance, I have no idea how fast I'm actually running and may okay yeah sure I can actually go into you know my blueprint here and in my basic third person blueprint character uh, I could do something as simple as like I don't know an on tick um, let's just do a event tick and then print string right and let's do uh, velocity should be get linear velocity, there we go, get velocity of the actor, right? And sure, yeah, you can do this and set this up and be, you know, um, have a duration. Uh, so it's, uh, it's going to be uh, event tick. Uh, let's make sure we type in the key so we don't like spam the crap out of uh, the log as well and also the screen. So we'll just do uh, velocity for the key. So it just prints one thing on the string and we won't print to the log. All right, cool, yeah compile and jump into game and you can see here oh yeah look at that hey up in the top left i have a velocity but this is kind of cumbersome like number one you shouldn't be <laughs> leaning on event tick like this uh and number two um this is manually set up like okay yeah sure whatever you can do like branches with like uh, a variable but then you still don't have a, really a direct access to this unless you do a little bit of work um, so what's a better way of actually getting around this? Well, okay, number one, uh, here, let's let's clear all this out. Get rid of all that and delete that. Uh, the first thing that you can actually do from your blueprints themselves is uh, you can actually create CVARs through a blueprint. And how you do that is you can actually go into a new function. Uh, let's just call this, I don't know, um, CVAR. Uh, underscore oh, actually C uh, capital V C bar underscore velocity well that's awesome uh, but how do I make that a you know a console variable uh, that's where this a little handy dandy under advance over in the right on the details panel under advance you'll see exec here and you can see this little tool tip here that shows up it says cause this function to be able to process console commands now if you check that the uh, awesome thing about this here, we'll actually just do a quick, you know, print string. Hello. Sure, that's fine. All right. We'll move that away. And we'll jump into game here. And we'll go in and type CVAR. Hey, look at that. It shows up as a particular uh, thing that you can type in as a console variable that can trigger. Well, right now I don't have any additional parameters with it, so I can just hit enter. And then boom. Hey, hello. Hey, that's kind of cool. That's pretty sweet. And there's a bunch of things that you can actually do with this. Uh, so quickly here, we'll actually input a particular Boolean. Let's just say, you know, my input is called bool or whatever. Fine. Um, yeah, that works. So if bool and here, here, we can actually do like a quick branch. So for instance, it's kind of like a quick if statement on your uh, CVAR. So if the CVAR velocity uh, the bool equals, you know, true, then it will output, you know, hello, actually, let's just call this, uh, let's, yeah, hello and true, right? Ooh, true, there we go. And uh, now compile that. And now when I actually go into my game here, type in CVAR underscore velocity, you can see now there is actually a request for bool. Now I think this is just a uh, a bug in in with Unreal. There's bool and then bool, and I think that's just on the back end on how they actually like compile uh, the virtual machine script. Uh, so ignore the fact that there's a double boolean there. It only requires one. 
Uh, so you can actually see here if I uh, press space now to actually add the uh, argument that it's actually looking for. Well, actually before that. So if I just type in velocity and then hit enter, you can see my output log down at the bottom. It says bad or missing property bool when trying to call cvar underscore velocity. Well, that's because we didn't actually input anything. So we can do velocity again and either hit one or zero, which is just a binary for true or false. So you can do one or true, it doesn't matter. So if I type true, it goes hello and true, awesome. But let's say if I do, you know, false instead, right? False, and then nothing happens. It still changes the console variable, but since my uh, my actual my actual um, logic here is actually outputting false and it just, you know, silently uh, does nothing, then it does nothing. Well, I can add something to it. I can be like, hello, the Hello and false, right? So, and false. And just for, you know, demonstration purposes, let's change this to, I don't know, some red color. Yeah, that works. Just so you can see it easier. And we'll jump in and do that again. So when I set it to false, hey, look at that. Hello and false. And you, uh, like I said, you can do the same thing with one. Hello and true. Hey, that's great. Now that's actually pretty sweet. And then here's here's the other thing just to make these like quick and easy or whatever. Uh, you can actually add kind of as many inputs as you want to, you know, do a thing, right? So instead of uh, like you can do a Boolean, an integer Boolean and, you know, whatever, a string if you want. Your imagination can take you now to wherever you want to go with this, right? So like for instance, I had like the uh, input strings to be able to spawn whatever actor that you wanted to. Uh, I can actually, I'll probably demonstrate that in, in a separate video. But this uh, should just get you started. I'm just going to call this int. Uh, and then whatever int will actually print a string uh, behind that. So whatever integer that is actually coming out as. Uh, we'll actually just do that on true. And then, yeah. So you can see here when I actually jump in and then, you know, do the same thing. Uh, now, okay, now that I have uh, CVAR velocity one, it requires uh, int property, uh, integer property on top of that. So yeah, now that I add it in, I go uh, CVAR velocity one, 100. Hey, look at that, 100. And then I can change that to whatever value I want, 40 or whatever you want. Now, uh, to go back to the original question, how is the best way to actually like register the velocity when I actually want to uh, like turn it on, right? So the best thing that we can actually do here, and I've kind of done this on a uh, separate uh, blueprint real fast, is the actual like, well, I did it with location, but we could do the same thing, is using the uh, location timers, right? Or sorry, the uh, actual timers themselves. Uh, we can actually do that here. We'll actually just copy a lot of this in. And then, so velocity, let's delete this. Just so we can keep the video short and sweet. Oh yeah, well we could do that. Actually, let's do that. Remove that. So from the, uh, the Boolean, yep. And then when this is uh, true, oops. And then when this is false. So basically all I'm doing here is I'm actually... Uh, checking to see one if there is a uh, timer here that actually exists here let's just create this and then rename it we'll call it velocity timer instead of location velocity timer cool uh, all right so essentially what I did here if uh, you didn't actually see it is like is a valid uh, timer handle uh, I actually turn this into a variable uh, if it doesn't exist so when this thing is actually looking for the velocity, I turn on this timer and this timer just updates basically, you know, pretty much every frame. Uh, and then uh, when I'm actually trying to set this CVAR, setting this velocity, what I'm doing is now uh, clearing and invalidating the, the timer itself. So I just completely remove it. But now that I have this, uh, actually let's change this function name. So let's uh, get velocity. Cool. So now what I need to do is do uh, a new function and we'll call this get velocity. Uh, sorry, name already in use. All right, let's uh, change that to get velocity one just to get this going. Uh, get velocity one. There we go. And then from get velocity one, all I'm doing is pretty much the same thing, right? So that way I'm actually uh, getting the uh, get velocity. 
do do do. And then uh, we do print string from that. So the same thing kind of as before with uh, tick, but instead of relying on tick, right, I now have this on a timer. And so I don't have to print this to log and I'll just call this velocity as well. Sweet. So now see var velocity, going back to it, we'll push to get velocity one and uh, set the uh, timer by function name and create that uh, timer as well. And here we can actually see it right now. Jump into game, see var underscore velocity, right? Uh, so that, okay, that's kind of funny here where you can see like the bool, 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 and then integer. Uh, I think it's also because uh, it needs to refresh. So if you restart your project, this should actually clear it. So don't worry about uh, a lot of that actually having ghost uh, parameters there. So now if I do see uh, var velocity one, boom, there it is. Hey, that's pretty sweet. So yeah, that's a quick, easy way for your blueprints uh, to be creating, or sorry, to create CVARs within just, you know, your basic blueprints on certain things. Maybe you want to do like a spawn actor CVAR for yourself. Uh, but you can actually, quick note here as another kind of good to know, uh, you might notice here with, uh, well, sorry, let me pull this back into the screen. Uh, these CVARs right here, if you're actually doing them via the, uh, the actual functions right from your uh, player pawn or actor or whatever you are unable so you can see here actually let's go to the console commands here you can actually see a lot of these console commands have i don't know like uh, uh sg for scale group right uh like whatever t for t like usually time oriented things dot so a lot of these have groupings of like uh, a particular group dot whatever or maybe you have uh you would want like um for instance a cvar for like my project dot uh uh cool cvar right you'd want to like do something like that unfortunately with blueprint it looks like there is a restriction where you can't actually make the functions have you know my project dot cool yeah you can see there may not contain the following characters it can't uh, um, contain periods inside of it so the only things that are able to actually do that are the code variables uh or code uh console variables and i will actually show you that in uh, the follow-up video to this video but yeah this should uh get you started uh, hopefully this actually helps you to get going with just basic CVARs in your blueprints and you take it from here. All right, good luck developers and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.